On this week's MetPy Monday, we'll get a peek at the Gympack plotting interface or declarative plotting interface and use it to plot some satellite test data. Welcome to another MetPy Monday. Hello, this is John Lehman, a software engineer at Unidata. On this week's MetPy Monday, I wanted to give you a, a little bit of a taste of the declarative plotting interface that was released in the most recent version of MetPy and that we're continuing to improve to provide more functionality, more plotting capability with fewer lines of code. For those of you that were Gympack users, this will look somewhat familiar. Though we didn't adopt all of the Gympack names, we did adopt some of the ideas, mainly this idea of declarative plotting versus actually trying to write a, a full, more functional programming style script. I think at this point, it's a little easier to show you what I mean. So we're going to go ahead and fire up a notebook and do our normal imports at the beginning. So I'm going to use X-Array to open the data set. Uh, then we're going to use the get test data function from MetPy which is a convenient way to access a bunch of uh, testing and example files that we include, though they're not downloaded to your system when you install MetPy. So when you use get test data, it will go out and retrieve them and cache them on your system. This is a great way to play with some toy examples. We'll also need the genie file IO because we're, this happens to be a genie file. And then from plots, we're going to need some new things that you haven't seen before. So let's go ahead and do that. So we're going to import X-Array as XR, as the convention is. So there's our get test data function. And then we're going to import the genie file reader and we're going to import image plot map panel and panel container from metpy.plots so those are new things that you haven't seen before before we get to using them though let's go ahead and open our data set so we're calling open data set we're going to use the genie file reader. And we're going to use that on our test data, so we need the get test data function. So it's a function inside a function inside a function here. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and run that cell. We get a warning here because of this particular data set, but that's fine. Now we get to the new things. So what I want to do is make a plot of this infrared satellite data. So one plot, one axis, if you will, in matplotlib terminology. And it's going to be an image plot on a map. So in the declarative framework, we're going to need a panel container, which you could sort of think of like a, a figure, and each panel is like an axis. So a panel container contains panels, which can be of several different types. In this case, it's going to be a map panel. And the map panel can contain different types of plots, or panels can contain different types of plots. So maybe there's a contour plot, or an image plot, or an XY plot. In this case, we are going to want an image plot. So let's go ahead and create that. The first thing we need to do is create an instance of this, which is done like that. And then we can set the data on it. So what data do we want this image plot to use? In that case, it's going to be our X-Ray uh, data set data. And then we need to specify which variable from that data set. That data set could be from Goes and have all 16 channels, or it could have more or less. In this case, I know that in this data set, it's called IR. That's the variable name we're looking for. So that is field. So image.field is IR. And then finally, I'm going to set a color map because the stock Virtus color map is probably not going to look that great for infrared. 
And we generally look at infrared in a grays reversed color map. So now that constructs the image plot. Now an image plot goes into a panel, remember? So the image plot goes onto an axis or a panel. So we'll create a panel. In this case, it's going to be a map panel. And then we set the plot that we want on that panel. There could be multiple. We could have satellite data. Uh, we could have pressure data. We could have several things plotted on here if we wanted. In this case, it's just one, and we've called it IMG. And finally, now that we have a panel, we need to put that panel in a panel container or a figure so that we can go ahead and draw it and show it. I'm going to create my panel container. Then we will set the panels. In this case, we only have one. And finally, we'll call the show method. So now you see we have an image that was created in this declarative plotting style with an automatic title that is the name of the field that we're plotting. And we didn't tell it anything about the projection information, about that we wanted country outlines, none of that information. That was all automatically done through this declarative plotting framework that we've created in MetPy. So I encourage you to go ahead and play around with this. You can try your own data, try data from Siphon, so pull data from a Threads data server. Try different color maps, try making multi-panel images. We'll continue to show you some neat things that you can do with this, but go ahead and kick the tires and tell us what you would like to be able to do with the declarative plotting interface. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you on next week's MetPy Monday.